Kim Song-ho is a South Korean actor. Some may remember him as the psychopathic child trafficker in the movie The Man from Nowhere, while others may remember him as the funny, lovable secretary in The Secret Garden. With the ability to pull off any type of character, it's no wonder he's been able to have a consistent career over the years. With other notable movies and dramas under his belt, such as Missing You, Unstoppable, Giant, and Fight My Way, his popularity will only continue to grow. Check out these 10 things you might not know about Kim Song-ho. He refused to be typecast. Have you ever seen an actor who can play nearly every type of role given to them? Kim Song-ho is that type of actor. In his two decades of career, he has played a wide variety of different characters. He plays his characters so well that you don't think he can ever convincingly play another one, until, well, when he does play another one, and you forget all about his previous roles. The role that brought him to stardom was in the 2010 movie The Man From Nowhere, in which he played a villain who does not hesitate to commit anti-humanitarian acts along with his brother. Because he portrayed the character so convincingly, the actor started being offered a lot of scripts with villainous characters. He said, when I first started with the dream of becoming an actor, the work that I could say, my job as an actor, was the man from nowhere. It was an opportunity to become an actor in earnest, but at that time a similar villain came in, so I worried a lot. I thought, why would I want to do this? I want to do something else. Along with other villainous roles, he also plays an active role as a comical supporting character, with contrasting atmospheres in the man from nowhere, such as romance, comedy, and drama. The actor has taken on many memorable roles that range from the sweetest of people to the most horrendous. He lost 16 kilograms in a month for a serial killer role. He has frequently played villainous roles in films. Among them, the most talked about was by far Missing You. In order to portray a murderer with more clarity, the director advised him to lose weight. Accepting this, the actor ate only water and vitamins, exercised rigorously, and lost about 16 kilograms, approximately 35 pounds, in a single month. His bony body and emaciated face made the image of the killer in the movie even darker. Kim Song-ho took a wedding picture with the image in the movie, as the filming overlapped with the wedding period. His wife, who is a non-celebrity, admitted that she was sad. In response, the actor expressed his apologies to her. He was once unable to work due to shoulder surgery. As an actor who has played more than 60 characters during his acting career, there have been a lot of difficult times, but he says he has overcome them well. He recalled one of the most difficult times by saying, there was a time when I had shoulder surgery and was unable to work during my year-long rehab. It was difficult because I had financial problems and a desire to be an actor, but at the same time I thought, this is not the time, let's overcome it, and let's get better at rehab. It seems that these thoughts suppressed difficult thoughts. Since not getting hurt was his priority, he exercised whenever he had time to relax his muscles. Even if he took action, he prepared in advance so that he would not get hurt. He actually fainted during the filming of Missing You. When action scenes in Korean dramas and films are correctly done, they look so real that viewers are kept on the edge of their seats. But one action scene where an actress strangled an actor went wrong that he could have died. Kim Song-ho actually fainted once during an action scene with Shimming Young. He shared with MMTG, so, I did not lose weight to look good, but to look grotesque. I do not have any physical strength in my body. Shimming Young is a lot younger than me. I told her, it's okay. Even if you really really kill me, I won't die. You can't beat my power. All I have to do is block it, so just do as much as you can. Don't worry. You can't kill me. I just talked like that. After that, I did shooting, but I endured it while doing this. I was like, oh, it's strange. He was going through an inner conflict in the middle of it and then just passed out. He became a smoker because of a role. Kim Song-ho confessed that he never smoked until he starred in The Man From Nowhere. He wanted the role so badly that he brought his own axe to the audition. Smoking is also one of his attempts to deepen the role. He said, I didn't smoke even when I was in the military. But when I went to the audition, there was a smoking scene, but it was so awkward. I was like, I can't do this, I need to smoke. So I smoked it from then on. It seems like a bit of a bad choice. He forced himself to watch the original Money Heist. He starred as a former special agent from North Korea, who was dispatched to handle the hostage crisis in a Korean adaptation of Money Heist. 
To play a role adapted from another work, actors usually review the original work to get a deeper understanding of the story. Kim Song-oh expressed his sensibilities candidly, saying that Money Heist was a reputable original work, but it wasn't good for his personal taste. He shared, I watched it because people around me said it was so fun, but I thought it didn't fit me from the start. There is an emotional line given by the language, but it was difficult to accept the sensibility of Spanish. The content was also not fun by my standards, so I gave up after watching the first part. I was conflicted because I had to watch it again. Wouldn't it rather limit my acting if I watched it? Shouldn't I still have to watch the original? I started watching it again while continuing the conflict, but it also failed. I was watching it sparsely, but the director and the writer told me that my character was not in the original work. He was a new character created due to the story of North and South Korea, so I stopped watching the original work. He got the burden of playing the bad role. Over the years, he has been praised for her villainous roles in dramas and films, but that doesn't mean that every villainous role is easy for him to play. He told Nusis, there is a burden on the villain image. However, compared to the past, it seems that the works spend a little more time expressing the villain. Villains are also people, and their personalities and stories are expressed, so various villain roles come out. From an actor's point of view, it seems that it can be used more widely if it is expressed in the scenario. He considers his role in Luca is not a villain. In the 2021 drama Luca, The Beginning, he succeeded in showing Lee Song, who is a villain but can feel compassion. Kim Song-oh has never really thought of Lee Song as a villain. He thinks Lee Song just did his job from beginning to end. The actor also said, if there is a war, I'm given a gun and told to go to the battlefield, that means I have to kill a person. So if I really killed that person, can I call myself a bad person? He emphasized that Lee Son was just a person who was faithful to his position and felt guilty for killing people. He says he has a stubborn streak. One of the many traits in humans, there is at least one similarity between an actor and the character he plays. Kim Song-oh picked stubbornness as a commonality between Lee Son and himself. He said, I have a bit of stubbornness. Everyone has stubbornness, but looking at the life I've lived, it seems that I could become an actor thanks to my stubbornness. Isan is also a person who always gets one thing done, and that part seems to be similar. He has an unusual eye color. While dark brown is the color most dominantly found in Asians, there are a few who deviate from the standard. Kim Song-oh has caught the public's eye for his unique iris color. Although sometimes he plays the villain, there were viewers who said his eyes were so pretty. I know. When I was young, when I was dating, I heard a lot about my eyes being pretty. It's not something that I care about, but I thought that people looked at it like this. Did these beautiful eyes hold you captive as they did with us?